What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Random, back at you guys with a long-awaited video. I know I've been gone for a very, very long time, but you know what, man? I can assure you guys, your boy's back. I got plenty of videos lined up for you guys. Some of them are going to be completely ridiculous, completely outrageous, and you guys kind of have an idea where this video is going. But first, I just kind of wanted to show you my used uh, car a lot, you know, just to give you guys a quick tour, you know, my, my garage. But yeah, man. I am totally uh, running out of space here in my front yard. Now out of all of these cars, you guys wanted to see Project White Lightning the most. And I have produced, I have a video for you guys. Now this car right here is uh, one of the most promising cars that I have in this lot right here. And wait until you guys see what I have planned for this car and when it's done, what it's going to look like. I'm telling you, you will never see a Kromvik like this one again. And like I said, a lot of you already know what this is but if you're new to the channel if you're just joining us for the first time this ladies and gentlemen is project white lightning now to keep it simple what project white lightning is is we take a regular old boring crown victoria and we're going to turn it into the most badass four-door hot rod that the world has ever seen and in today's episode we will be installing a set of pro tuning led taillights and like all of my Project White Lightning video guys, if you guys are interested in getting yourself your very own set of uh, pro tuning LED taillights, check the description down below where you can find yourself a link and get yourself your very own pair. Now these LED taillights do serve two purposes. Purpose number one, it adds a little bit more uh, modern styling and a more up to date look to our Ford Crown Victoria compared to these old, old, old grandpa taillights. And reason number two, it adds more visibility to your taillights, especially during the day. We all know these Crown Victorias are super notorious for having these really, really low, very, very dim brake lights. Sometimes people can't even tell if you're hitting your brakes or not. I've literally had people pull up next to me in traffic and tell me to lower my window. I'm like, hey, your brake lights aren't working. And then I come back and I check them and they're perfectly fine. It's just that they're so dim, it's really, really hard to tell if you're hitting the brakes or not. So in a way, guys, these tail lights actually make your car even safer so without further ado project white lightning led tail light install video let's get it started all right and i just want to point something out real quick before we get started and that is that i've searched youtube i've searched online there is zero videos on how to install those uh tail lights there's usually like a 20 second or a 30 second like super shaky like like oh man like yeah I just uh, installed them and like they're like really good no this is gonna be like always a full-on guide and like always I'm gonna be the first guy number one on YouTube to do the right appropriate guide into how to install those uh, tail lights and I want every single one of you guys who gets a pair of those to give your boy a shot and be like hey man thanks for the video I really like the tail lights it was really easy to install it was a lot easier than I thought it was just a little bit of credit guys anyways all right guys, and the tools of the trade for this install are very, very simple. Number one is you're gonna need some painter's tape, something to mark the painter's tape with, and a good old fashioned socket wrench. So once you pop the trunk of your Crown Vic, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to the left and to the right, you're gonna notice there is carpeting, right? And you're gonna notice that tab right there. And on the right, there is a tab as well. All you gotta do is simply just remove that tab. There you go. Place it somewhere where you don't lose it and pull away the carpeting to reveal the nuts that are holding down your uh, tail lights. So what you do is you grab your socket wrench and there's gonna be three bolts. We have one there, we have one there, and there is one right there as well. So. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, remove those bolts. All right, guys, and once you have removed the three bolts holding down your tail lights, it's as easy as literally just pulling it right out of its socket. All right, and look at that, man. I just discovered something, uh, something new while exploring the tail lights of this Crown Vic. I'm gonna get to what we gotta do next, but look, I just realized this thing still has the, the strobes hooked up to the taillights. That's pretty freaking cool, man. You never know where you're gonna find it with your Crown Vic. All right, so for this next step, you're gonna grab your painter's tape and your marker, 
and you're gonna mark your left light and you're gonna mark your right light correction your two bulbs you're gonna mark your left and your right one so there's no confusion when you're transferring in the new LED tail lights so it should uh, look something like that you got your L and your R I mean we're not uh, being artists here we're not applying for an art degree or anything what you do is you twist your bulb uh, left to the left you pull it out twist your other bulb to the left as well pull it out now I'm not wearing any gloves because I'm not planning on using those bulbs ever again we're switching over to LED so who cares all right so once we removed our uh, original tail light we go ahead and grab our brand new shiny ever so sexy uh, LED tail lights and it's literally a complete swap but I will show you guys though I will show you so there is no confusion as to what exactly it is you have to do all right so what we're gonna do is we grab our LED tail light and you just place it right on your bumper now this is why I told you guys to mark your left and your right because if you notice there is a left plug and there is a right plug you don't have to worry about this okay and that is uh, this actually sticks on right here okay actually somewhere up here and you find a spot for it and it'll stick right on and then your light goes right over it so you don't really have to worry about this you don't have to mess with this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our left uh, light plug right you're gonna pull out the bulb you guys see and it's as simple and literally plug you just plug it right in so you plug your left uh, plug into your uh, bulb your new uh, your old uh, left bulb and you just click it right in we'll remove our tape we're gonna repeat the same process for that side as well all right guys I want to point something out uh, because this is might confuse a lot of you guys when installing these lights leave this uh, red cable disconnected do not connect the red cable there brings two plugs you got one with a yellow cable in it and you got one with a red cable when you connect both of them how you're supposed to your lights turn on everything works but your brake lights don't come on so when you only connect the yellow cable like I showed you guys when you only connect that yellow one leave the other one unplugged everything works your light works your brake lights works your blinkers everything so just uh, keep that in mind before uh, we go ahead and move on to the next one Alright, well there you guys have the finished product. What do you guys think about the new LED taillights? Let me know in the comment section down below guys. If you guys want to get yourself uh, your very own pair of uh, the Crown Vic LED uh, taillights, the link is in the description down below. So uh, before I go, I'm going to leave you guys with a quick, uh, with a couple before and after shots. I'm gonna have the blinkers on. I'm gonna have all that stuff on. I also do wanna touch base on one more thing. I'm just trying to get you guys a quick uh, look so you can see what it looks like. Dude, I think it looks just uh, completely, it just looks so badass, guys. What do you guys think? Now, the only issue, which is why I said I wanted to touch base uh, with you guys before we cut to the before and after clips and the nighttime clips and all that, I'm gonna do all that stuff, nighttime clips, brake lights, blinkers, everything. Um, there is only one issue and that is called hyper blinking so hyper blinking or hyper flashing which i'm going to show you guys in a minute is pretty much when your uh, tail light uh thinks since we have uh, the new led installation and the watt the, the voltage is actually a lot lower it uses although it's a lot brighter than the the stock uh tail lights the computer of the car thinks that there is nothing there it thinks that there's uh the bulb is missing so it's gonna hyper flash it's gonna flash very very quickly which I'm gonna show you guys right now all right so as you guys can see this is what hyper blinking or hyper flashing is now to be completely honest with you it will be super petty for me to be bothered by this I mean technically honestly it does not bother me not even the slightest I actually 
like it this way. Here's the reason why. The old Crown Vic had that slow and steady old grandpa, old fashioned style blinker. This new upgraded LED tail light, look at it. It just, it goes with the look of the Crown Vic. You know, it kind of looks like a, kind of like a strobe pattern in, in a sense. That's what your blinker is going to look like. Now, a good friend of mine, uh, you guys might know him as Viper Sill. He gave me a really, really easy solution to this. You don't have to splice any wires. You don't have to cut any wires or anything like that. All you got to do is you pop your hood and you make your way over to the fuse uh, switch. And all you have to do is go to Pet Boy or Advanced Auto Parts and buy yourself an LED relay switch. So if you get yourself an LED relay switch, uh, blinker relay actually an LED blinker relay uh, from pet boys or advanced auto parts you can get rid of the hyper flashing or hyper blinking but to be completely honest with you guys I'd rather not touch the car I want to leave it just as it is I mean look at it it just it works perfect so I hope you guys enjoyed the, this uh, little installation video again it's your boy Mr. Random make sure to give it a thumbs up guys if you guys enjoy me coming back and want to see more videos I like I said I do got plenty of stuff already pre-recorded and planned for you guys so, Make sure you guys stay up to date and stay tuned for more Project White Lightning modification. This bad boy is going to be one hell of a beast. Now, let's go ahead and cut over to some before and after footage. Hope you guys enjoy it. Catch you guys in the next one.